What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Super Pirate Bros. Uh, we're going to bring you a deck profile today. It's one of the very new ones from OP06. It's going to be Vinsmoke Raju. So pretty much uh, in Yu-Gi-Oh terms, she's a walking pot of greed. Uh, her and her uh, German Kingdom guys, they let you do all sorts of effects by trashing your own characters and minusing Dawn all the time. So you will see this draw effect all the time. So let's get right into the deck profile here. Let's see what the Power Ranger squad can do. First up, you're going to definitely need to play uh, four German Kingdoms, uh, Kingdom of Germa. The deck would not function without it. It says on main, you trash a card from your hand and rest the stage to look at three from the top and then take one Germa. This is very necessary because you're going to need to start um, building up your trash pile so that you can use the bigger guys in the trash to uh, come out with the smaller guys on board. So definitely when you mulligan, look for this thing at most because... It's kind of hard to win without that card. So that's why we're going to also play 4 of Germa 6-6. Six, six. This one is just your searcher. Look for top 5 to help you find the cards that you need. Mainly uh, this one, Germa Kingdom, if you have not seen it yet. If not, you use it to pick up your missing pieces of the Power Rangers. So 4 of that, 4 of that. Next up, uh, she is uh, Vince Moxora. She's searchable through those two cards we mentioned. And she's only a 2k. Her effect is... Um, Next to useless, I've never played it. I don't think you will either, but it's a good 2k and 2k's are very important to protect your life and characters. Up next, I made a uh, room for just two Kaya's. Kaya is a uh, 2k, but also she's the best 2k for the deck because she lets you draw two and trash two. So when you don't find what you need, you get to help yourself find that. And on top of that, she gets to move things to the trash like the bigger Vinsmo characters that belong in the trash so you can pick them up later. Alright, now to main engine stuff, the way this deck works, you have little power rangers that go into big ones, so I'm just going to mention them all at the same time because it's a lot easier that way because there's they're all doing nearly the same thing. So you have little Reiju into big Reiju, so 4 and 4. I'll go over their effects in a moment, I just want to get all of them out of here. You have little Niji into big Niji, so 4 of those are a must. Four Nijis into four Nijis. Up next, we've got four Ichiji, the smaller one, into four Ichiji, the bigger one. And the last Power Ranger we're playing, and don't worry, I'll go over replacements if you don't like some stuff in the build. But I'm also going to be playing three of Little Yanji. And of course, you need three big Yanji to do that. So three and three of that. So the reason why I put them all together without going over their effects is because every single small one has the exact same effect. So Little Reiju does the same as um, Little Ichi, Little Niji, and Little Yanji. So what Power Rangers essentially do is they go Dawn minus one in order to play their bigger version from the trash or your hand. So they all basically Digivolve, Pokemon Evolve, whatever you want to call it, Dino Morphin Time. They do different effects so rage is the best one in the whole deck because she lets you draw two cards when you have a uh, two five or less cards in your hand so when you combo off of these two just be aware that your leader can draw at any time and the character can only draw when you have five or less so you want to do the character first and then this one at times because if you end up doing let's say draw one you just reach six cards you're not going to be able to fully complete this because now you're not eligible for the draw two so be aware of what you're choosing to do first so she's your plus two, that's the Pot of Greed card. Then you have Vince Smoke Niji, who has two different effects that's pretty good at removal. So on play, he gets to kill an opponent's character that costs two, or just return one to the hand that costs four or less. So very optimal removal for the deck, so you get to go through things. Next up, we got Ichiji. Ichiji is uh, the biggest one in the deck well, that comes from the four drop. And he says, well, he gets Rush. And then you also get to do minus 2,000 power to a character on play. So that's pretty damn powerful. Good for removing characters and such. And then as well, we have Yanji. Yanji is just a blocker, but he becomes 6k if you have less down than your opponent. And 6k is a pretty good body. And like I said, they're, you can pick them up from the trash or your hand, so it's very optimal to be using. And one other thing, all of their effects only work if you have less Dawn than your opponent, so be aware of that. When you're playing a mirror, try to rush into your effects because you don't want to have more Dawn than your opponent or else none of your bigger Power Rangers are going to be able to do a single thing. That's just the way the deck works. And against Trafalgar Law, uh, the red-purple, 
uh, you're kind of that's has to be your worst matchup because they're gonna have less dawn than you because they get to remove a lot quicker than you can. So unfortunately, yeah, just be aware of having less dawn than your opponent. Up next, the big boss man, it's Judge. We're playing two judges because he on play gets to play out all four of the different power rangers from your trash. And once you do reach a dawn, it's kind of game over the following turn because you're going to be able to revive all four of your small guys. And then on top of that, they all get to basically become their bigger versions as well. So that's why we play judge. And he has a nice little added effect of dawn minus one to rest up to one of your opponent's dawn cards. So... If your opponent likes to play events or is trying to protect themselves at the very end with an event, you can pretty much deny that with him. So that's pretty neat. So I made room for two of that. Not too many because, like I said, everything is searchable in sec. That's where we're playing only three of the green one because the green one's um, slightly the worst one, I would say. Because he doesn't have like a really like powerful on play thing. He's just a blocker. And up next, I decided to play two pudding. Pudding is really powerful because it just returns all your opponent's hand on play and then shuffles their deck and makes them draw five cards. So you can get rid of any single card that they added through searching or were holding on to, maybe doing their later bigger plays. Against Anel, it's really good. You get to remove their Yamatos that they've been uh, holding on to and other decks with many combo plays, like people that hold on to Gekko Moria character. So she gets to remove that as well. And on top of that, you can look at it like a discard three, four. And if you play against... Uh, Edward uh, Newgate, you get to pretty much win for free because you'll eliminate their whole hand. You get to go like pretty much make them discard five or return five to the deck actually. So made room for two puddings, one of the most powerful discard cards in the whole game. Up next, I'm playing one of Black Rug. Black Rug is like uh, 3,000 worlds uh, for purple. So if the number of your Dawn is less than your opponent's, which it always will be with this deck, you place a character of cost five or less to the bottom of the deck. Very powerful, gets removing Sabo, Borsalinos, even 5-drop Queen and many other characters to be knocking out. And it's searchable because it's a German 6-6 six -six card, Vince Smoke Family card. So I made room for one of this. Up next, I've got my last card placement is going to be Gum Gum Giant Gavel. So this is a really neat uh, counter for the counter and um, event for the deck. So you trash one card from your hand up to one of your leader gains 4,000 during the battle. And then you trash two from the top of your deck. So why this is good is because you want to get as much big bodies into the trash pile because that way you can start searching for better things with your kingdom instead of having to look for them. And 4,000 protection is pretty damn neat. So you can do things like discard the HG. So by the way, that's how the deck works. You always want to discard your bigger guys because they get to be played from the trash regardless. So cards like this that discard them doesn't even hurt you. It only helps you greatly. So when you do effects to discard, for example, the kingdom... It requires you to discard before you search. So you always discard the bigger drop guys because they will be the ones that will be played out later. So this is what I got from my build so far. And some cards that you might want to add in or replace are going to be uh, more Kayas. So I have one here, for example. If you're not feeling the pudding so much, then you can go for more 2Ks. I say that's a good replacement for that. Or even a couple Yanjis. What I would replace with the Green Power Ranger... If you're gonna do that is queen i would try the deck with queen and with yanji and i like it more with yanji because it's more consistent to uh, keep finding your guys and be able to go into your plays but i can see why queen is really really strong and i will probably be trying him again at queen i'll probably do four queens for the yanjis and replace two yanjis with kaya that's another very good um way you can make the deck so let me neaten out the deck for you so it doesn't look so messy all right, guys, so here we got the full deck profile in sight, including this card here, but I just can't fit it in the screen, but it's the giant gavel. And like I said, the replacements mainly would be adding more Kayas. You can cut out some of the pudding or a couple of the Yanjis with a pair of four queens if that's what you want to do. But the reason I wasn't so quick to jump on the queen train was because sometimes you don't see the German guys. And if you're not seeing German guys that early on, your leader's not going to be drawn for you that often. And that's the whole point of her. Because you just want to be using the leader's effect as much as possible. That's the main advantage and the main draw for the deck. It's, I guess, to draw. So also reaching 5 Dawn takes a while if you're using the smaller guys' effects. Because you're going minus a lot. So that's why, I don't know if 4 is the best answer. But that's just the option for you. Just to remove the green Power Ranger for uh, Queens and Kayas. So that's it for the deck profile. Reiju is the Beiju. So... I hope you try it out. Let me know what you 
guys think about it and what kind of results you'll be getting at tournament with it as i'll be trying it very soon myself i've been working on this thing on the sim a lot and it's done very well there but with so many decks to play i'll just try this deck soon enough at <laughs> probably just this weekend so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in another video peace go, 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 go.